I will probably have to reorder these shots during editing because... Sorry for jumpy cuts. Hi, sorry for a rambly video this time, but I just wanted to show you a few things that I was doing and working on while well, basically for my last upload, because I haven't uploaded for quite a long time. But, I've made myself this table. And this is made out of stainless steel profiles. This is 30 by 30, 60 by 30. And I brace these with silver, because I'm, my guess, rich. <laughs> Doesn't look too bad. I would say. And in reality the silver is the only thing that works very well. And I also have this workbench top, wood board, pretty fancy I would say. Here you can see how it looks from the inside. It, I cleaned only the outside because you only see that all right but there's still some flux and it's and it's flowing this looks maybe well looks looks atrocious but it's much better job than this thing and this this board is not mounted here because i don't want to leave it outside especially not during the winter if I know that I won't be outside for like two weeks, I will probably get it inside and shield it from the nature. I have done some coating on this, but obviously it would deserve one more layer. Basically, I just uh, I just saturated this wood with kind of special mixture and I would I hope I did not ruin it but let me show you some water so this is basically saturated with wax candle wax that is so I can basically get the water out and it doesn't really soak in well it does but uh, that's why I say I would probably need another layer and this delamination or how should I call it is quite concerning so as I say I, I hope that I did not ruin it in case I did I will tell you what I did to this. This is our mega chunker. This is her favorite place. As you can see. Yeah, I have used this fire starter to basically dissolve the wax and it works quite well and you can see that it started to crystallize Jeez So this is still quite quite pasty stuff I guess some mineral oils has evaporated and also temperature has, is cooler so lots of wax crush out and I have mixed some wax into this thing which is a sealer and it's based on alkyd or alkyd or how do you call it it's basically modified vegetable oil so I thought I saw the recipe for this wax paste thing and Jude mixed it with linseed oil so I thought well I 
guess I could go, I could get away with this thing, so I did it. And I don't know. Well, I, I will have to send the surface of the table and apply one more or few more layers of this thing and we will see what I have, how much have I fucked it up. So, worst case, here is another one. I bought more of these profiles, so I will probably I will probably make one more table and have it inside because I need more tables. Here's my old table. <laughs> Looks quite bad. So what I did is that I disassembled this thing. I used this to make table that is outside and then with that table I made this table because this is much bigger and there's a there's a particle board and I guess this is MDF so it's not really that strong but I don't need that strong board there and I coated this with epoxy for the bathtubs and this thing this thing is quite chemical resistive there's some uh, sodium hydroxide and it has been left there and there's not a single sign of damage so it can resist, resist strong bases quite well. Strong acids probably as well. Maybe solvents will be a little bit problematic, but I hope this will work just fine. Also it will probably resist a little bit of heat and it should be good stuff. Like this front board, front of the board does not look really great. I should have put some filler there and then basically paint it, but I was like, oh, man, I don't know, man. Yeah, there are there are some there are some ugly stuff that I made there. I expected this paint to be a little bit thicker and to basically plug these holes a little bit better, but it's. I mean, it is, it is quite thick, but it's not that thick. But look, if you make a little bit of distance and look at this, you would say, oh, let's look, it looks pretty okay. I mean, even this thing looks like very bad. But as I say, I have this for like seven years or so, so I guess I use it. Now, one thing that I wanted to mention is that this table is pretty huge and so I wasn't really sure if this tiny skinny legs and uh, silver brazing will basically handle this thing but actually let me show you and I hope I won't break this because today it's really just so I can really push on this thing and this whole thing moves, but this is only because of these wheels. If I had, if I had normal legs there, it would be it would be very stable. So these very much suck, but I am willing to compromise there, and this thing. I had this thing originally on my original table, which is this, and I'm not quite sure if I really want it there, because, I mean, it's it's pretty good, it's some storage space, but, well, the thing is that this is pretty low, I mean, it does not look like it's low, but some equipment can get very large. So, not sure about how it will work out. 
So this is basically a shutter and here's the here's the tether and I will try to I will try to open it but I'm not yeah I mounted it basically backwards because because well it has to be done um, well I'll show you why oh man this is this is some poor glue plug this in and it's just LEDs and this curtain or shutter thing is basically a di diffuser and it works fairly well I mean you can't really see individual I'm moving camera now and you can't really see the individual LEDs so it makes pretty nice light so the idea here is that you can basically make pretty good pictures of glass as you can see you can basically see the wall thickness I mean come on you can pretty much see what's happening here, right? Because it's good light. You can't really see what's going on. So I broke one of these condensers, so I have to make new one. Well, actually, I broke, I broke this one as well. This this was the long one. Well, well long and short. So I had to make one of these, and I made two, and I think I got pretty good at this. As I said, I have done, uh, I have tried to do vacuum distillation, and I have used, I have used basically these joints and wrapped with Teflon tape to make seal, and it works pretty well actually. It holds vacuum quite well, but vacuum grease would be much better I would say because you touch this and it's immediately fucked now the next thing I guess I broke this thing which it is pretty easy to repair but uh, I mean just, 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 just look at this just look at this it's atrocious so I started to experiment, experiment more with these springs. So I made myself a two-headed torch so I, I can make these coils. And it's a little bit black because I have used it for making light because I was outside in the dark and this is what I've got, so don't judge. Once again I'm using glass nozzle. I'm not very happy with using glass nozzles and glass torches because they break easily and you can see that this is also fucking ugly as hell but I was just... I really need something right now so I made this No! Well, I won't demo you anything because there was something stuck in the nozzle and my nozzle isn't anymore, so that sucks. See, this is why I don't like glass. Man. My point was that with this torch you can make very wavy structures and there are basically... It doesn't do something like this, so it's... Basically, the even the bending radius is quite small. 
I could I could do this band like he like this and it will be it will be just perfect it will be very much straight well if you if you know what I mean <sighs> well now I have now I have to make a new one I guess so another stupidity that I did was that I bought these bottles because they were about two bucks cheaper and they don't have any thread there so I cannot really mount my flow regulator there or valve ah, what's that? so what I had to do is I had to make something and refill this thing so I did this, I bought three of these of course so there's a little bit left I basically used only gravity and temperature difference to make its job there so I'm not using any sort of pump so I don't really fear about over pressurizing these cans this is silver I mean it's probably 80% silver so it's pretty expensive stuff and this thing works a treat let me say it's it's absolutely absolutely wonderful to work with the flux is quite water soluble it absorbs the water from the air and it will it will dissolve itself away so that's quite fantastic if you would ask me but yeah the price it's expensive I brought about like that much of them well plus those that I use for the tables and this thing cost me about mm, I don't know 100 bucks yeah let's say 100 bucks so so yeah that's quite a lot of money but question is how much of these sticks and how much of these sticks do I need to make like one table like this and the answer is about three and translate that to money that's probably about ten bucks so for ten bucks I can make one table and if you would ask me well it's not ideal but it doesn't warrant me to get my own stick set up or even oh god I hate welding with sticks don't don't go don't get me started and this is stainless steel so so good question is how much money did I spend of this one and if I would calculate that the profiles would be for about, I don't know, yeah, let's say 150 welding supplies, like, like, I don't know, like, like 20, let's say. So, table, like, like, let's say 20 bucks and 30 with paint, so, yeah, we are at 200 bucks and, yeah, wheels, optional. <laughs> Not fair because this table does does not have wheels. So 200 bucks for this table, and this thing cost me about 500. And I'm not even joking. Like yeah, you have you have fancy stuff, yeah. But come on, 500 man. And I pick stainless steel on purpose because. A, the table outside it would corrode and I don't want to paint it and if I if I did paint it it would still corrode so no 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 stainless stainless is the way and here is just I ordered stainless so I ordered one for this and yeah I don't want to paint this if I paint this the chances are I will spill acetone oops Paints go away. I will spill. I will spill sodium hydroxide. If this was alkyd paint, what I would, which I would go for, 
oops, paint goes away. So, no, stainless steel it is. Speaking about alkyd based paint, this table, I have made this table about, I don't know, five years ago, probably, and and I used alkyd based paint to make this. Um, if you if you if you look very close, there's there's distinct texture, and this is like is like hammered styled paint, or I don't know how would I translate this this to English. So this should be like a motherboard or something like that. It's electric circuit. Also have processor there, or like like very fancy stuff, right? So this is like for hot stuff, so you can put there like hot something and so it won't burn the paint. That that was the intention, but it stands quite well for hot stuff. What it doesn't stand well to is sodium hydroxide. And as you can see I use it quite a lot and I if you if you look on if you look at the damage you can see this is this is what happens. One thing that is quite great about this is that I am dining on this table really every day and if I show you well I cannot show you really any place because I dine really here but if you look you can see this is some damage from abrasion but if I go here and try to clean it as, as I can as much as I can it's it's really quite it stands quite well to abrasion so this stuff is pretty good actually and I'm still working on these thermometers I'm working on them on and off, basically. So I have decided I, that I really need this battery protection circuit on the on the back side, and also some power management. So now this circuit is really quite interesting one, and it's based on Dave design from EEV block, and it's basically push button on and off switch. One more thing that I really decided that is really important to have is some form of uh, temperature readout on the unit itself. So I bought this OLED display. It's a little bit big, uh, I mean, but the idea is that I will mount it like this. And also this thing is quite, this thing is quite nice because it's pin-to-pin -pin compatible with these, with these protection circuits you can find. I was also working on steering motor for my hot plate and I really did not want to make my own but here we are so I started with, some, with something like this this is small RC motor and I rewinded it so it's now like 60k or something like that so it's it's torquey at slow speeds but I mean, there's something about direct drive that that is really that is really attractive. Anyway, I found that this spacing of magnet is quite right and good, so I cannot really mount these magnets on this thing, and at least not to be close or not to be low profile. So. This thing is basically like 10 millimeters thick and that's very good, that's excellent, but it, uh, there are some problems. Because these coils do not overlap, there is some gap in field where basically, because I have only two magnets there, it does not start. And then... There are cases when it starts to oscillate so this is also a problem and I did not want to have my micro microcontroller there but I guess I will have to use one and 
But other than that, it starts well. I also haven't used bearing there, not because I did not want to, but I just don't have one on hand and I made this basically in one evening and if I it can be quite fast it's that I had some lubricant there and it was quite dirty and this is running on like I don't know 2 volts right now because I have used quite low number of turns so but it's quite torquey even at slow speeds also this is I think I mean it isn't but I tried tried to tried it to be or I wanted it to be hmm I can already smell pancakes I mean, it's really just a glued wooden structure. Basically, made some mount for motor to. Jesus! I basically made some mount for motor, so it it sits nicely. And come on, yeah, it sits there nicely. I used rubber to make a pulley and I just glued it together there. This is quartz tube and I have just some heating wire. And there's this roller. So I did not want to put silicone on this roller, but the pancakes did stick to the glass, so yeah now it's now it's glued pretty well. And did not really want to stick there so Actually, with this thin layer, I would probably be able to to try it again and see what happens. <laughs> I'm quite impressed to see how this does not stick to the silicone. It's really interesting. Hmm. I am really really tempted to make some very thin layer of silicone because I I tried to run this on very thin pancake like very thin dough and it did some interesting stuff like it made it made sheet I could pull it away from the glass and it was so fucking uniform from uniform from the from the bottom. So I was thinking I could make this work. Hmm. Hmm. Really, really tempted. And I have also done this thing. So I basically put a like hundred watt hundred watt pulsier there, and I made some cooling for this. It kind of works. I still have to do some some refluxing to see how it works with heat. I I did vacuum distillation where I needed some cold water and well it kind of worked but so yeah that's about it and I guess I guess see you next time